A fire broke out at the historic Olala Bay Market. It's a pillar of this small community on the Kitsap Peninsula. Farah Jadrin's been there all morning long, seeing just the outpouring of community support. You spoke to the owner of this uh, structure, the Olala Market there. What are you learning there, Farah? Well, what we know, Jake, is that this is quite a blow to the community. The owner, Greg Olson, said that they were alerted to the fire because uh, the security alarm set off some movement, which ended up being the fire and the smoke moving through the building. A lot of it is contained to the kitchen area of the market that's still under construction. That reopening date in early October is now up in the air. We want to show you some video from that huge response from uh, firefighters across Kitsap County coming here to make sure they could get the flames put out. Uh, they got things under control, but the fire marshal is still here on the scene trying to figure out what the cause was in that back kitchen area of the market. Uh, what we've heard so far all morning is that people just care about this reopening. One woman put it uh, best that, you know, there's an elementary school, there's a, a post office, not a whole lot of other places to gather other than here at the landing and this new market that was going to be opening. So it has been difficult for community members to learn of this news. Greg Olson also very emotional this morning. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Um, you, this is very close to your heart. This this is an emotional morning because of how much work you guys have put in. It's it's not just me and my family. It is our community has worked so hard and we've had so many volunteers yeah. and help. To know that this fire has it's hard. <laughs> it's hard, but we're, I'm, we're all going to be there to rally around this family and do whatever we can to help them get back on their feet. That woman, just one of many. I lost track of how many people have driven by, asked myself and our photojournalist, how is Greg? How's the family? What's the damage like? What can I do? Others stopping, getting out of their cars just so they could hug Greg and tell him, we're here for you. What do you need us to do? Another man stopped uh, on his way to work saying, whenever you need me, just let me know and I'm going to be here to help. So they are still very committed to getting the reopening underway. They have to take a look at you know all of the damage what needs to be done there uh, they're also trying to figure out uh, what that cause was so we're waiting to learn that uh, from the fire marshal but the good news is no injuries and even though there was damage to this building and kind of a setback for a long-term project over the last few years they are encouraged by the outpouring of support they've already felt just in the few hours of everyone learning about the fire. Mm -hmm. Live in Olala, Farah Jadrin, King 5 News. Yeah, that outpouring of community support needed more than ever now. Farah, thanks. Also, as you heard her mention, it's a longtime landmark. According to its website, it's been a local gathering place in Olala since 1884. Before being restored as the market at Landing, it was a beloved Al's butcher shop and grocery store. And it was Al's since 1959. And according to the market, it's the only original structure left by the bay. The owners are Olala natives, and it took over, uh, took over in February of last year. They had plans to make it uh, really historic, to preserve those landmarks. And this morning, we're still waiting to hear how much has been damaged. Owner Greg Olson, by the way, is a best-selling author. His book, Starvation Heights, was honored by Washington State's Secretary of State for its contribution to the state's history and culture.